Hello everyone. Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, we are back on Shellbrook Creek. And uh, we've got a field here that needs to be cultivated. And these guys are... We're going to try to do this on course play. And these guys are looking for their first waypoint. And it kind of looks like maybe the first guy found it. The second guy is, well, he's thinking about it. So, and I've got them set to do the uh, up and down rows or center uh, first. So, we'll see how it turns out. And then I think I've got them on two headland passes after that. So, uh, so far it looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, it looks like they've, they're on the right track. Alright, well, only time will tell. <laughs> uh, yes. So we're going to get rid of this HUD and we'll just keep an eye on them, see if they get turned around down here. Uh, course play is one of those wonderful tools. I mean wonderful, as long as it's working right. <laughs> uh, and if it isn't working right, uh, yeah, it's not quite as wonderful. Let's put it that way. But, uh, yeah. and as I've said many, many, many times before, uh, I take my hat off to these guys anyway. Uh, talk about an IQ level. That's way above my IQ level. I couldn't make any of this happen. So, I am grateful for these modders that can come up with this and make this stuff work absolutely brilliant so anyway yeah, we're going to just uh, keep an eye on them and we'll find out if they can make this turn up here or not alright well they made their turn down there flawlessly <laughs> that is fantastic uh Yes, absolutely great. So we're just going to keep an eye on these guys. Uh, and hopefully uh, this is going to be the one time that uh, they complete this job. The back or the center rows plus the uh, headland passes. Uh, without crashing into one another. Oh, that's going to be just awesome. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and uh, let the good times roll. Now, I did want to mention that I run some tests on this field and we are going to... Uh, we're also running another test as we speak. Uh, I come in here now I had a guy, one of my viewers, tell me that I didn't need to mulch every field. Only fields that had stubble sticking up in them. Like cotton. Uh, oh, uh, corn. And so I said, okay, this field did not have any stubble. I mean, we can get down and look, and it really doesn't have any stubble. If you come across this with a mulcher, it's not going to do anything. Okay? Not going to do anything. So, uh, what I did is I came in and uh, I tried to plant it. And all I got was 50% fertilizer. That's all I got whenever I tried to plant. 
So, which tells me, now we don't know what was in this field. We don't know if they had a chop straw mod. We don't know a lot of things. So the thing to do is come in and cultivate it, change the uh, soil, uh, the soil type, and go from there. But it won't be until we start planting will we know uh, whether we goofed up by not mulching. It's just a test. And of course then it'll be too late because we have already cultivated what was there in. So uh, I hope you understand what I'm saying. But anyway, I mean it's okay. Uh, we're running this test because uh, this is what the man tells me. And never, never, never do I ever claim to know everything there is to know about this. Uh, absolutely not. I'm all ears when somebody's got something to tell me. Uh, you know, because FS-22 threw us a curveball, and a lot of they added a lot of things that we're not used to doing. We wasn't used to doing on FS-19. So, yes, I'm all ears. If somebody can tell me a better way, uh, please do, because uh, <laughs> I sure don't claim to know it all. I can guarantee you that. But anyway, we're going to let these guys get on with their uh, cultivating. Uh, so far, they're doing real good, exceptionally well. So we're just going to let them get on with it. All right. Well, these guys have not made a bobble yet. I mean, flawlessly, they've come this far. Every turn has been exactly spot on. Uh, just, just perfect. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I am more than beside myself because I haven't seen this since I left FS-19. Uh, multiple tools in the field uh, without any problems. And I will say that so far, uh, but yes, uh, this is just absolutely brilliant. And uh, they've come a long way uh, yeah, they've come a long way, and it won't be long, and they'll have their up and down rows done, and then they'll get started on their, uh, headland passes. So, uh, we're just gonna hang right in here and watch them, but so far, it's been perfect. All right, well... These guys have come across this field doing the center rows absolutely flawlessly. Uh, yes. And they are getting ready uh, to start the headland passes. And they'll have two of those to do. Now, if you see this lead uh, tractor He's running his cultivator over in the already cultivated area. Well, that's because they are compensating for the width of the field or the length of the field so that everything comes out right. Sometimes they do it at the beginning. Sometimes they do it in the end. Uh, but what we're looking for now is Looks like he's getting started on his headland pass. My goodness, I haven't seen anything like this in a while. All right. Now, let's see what Okay, actually, this lead 
Yeah, he's going to need to come over if he gets it figured out. something may be wrong here of course they may still be squaring the field off it looks like they're still squaring it off yeah I believe that is what they're doing okay <laughs> all right but it is also I think their headland pass because I've got them set to do two two headland passes so We'll just sit here and watch them, but uh, yeah, I'm beside myself right now. Uh, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, but it does look like they know exactly what they're doing. They're squaring this, squaring it off because the field ain't square. So they have to square it off. So, all right, we're just going to watch them, let them do their thing. All right, they're on their first headland pass, and they're probably halfway around the field. But what I have noticed is on the headland passes, they are losing their distance between each other. They're ignoring their distance. Now, they kept that distance. I've got them set for 250 feet away from one another. And they held that on all the center passes. Whenever they got to the headland passes, they're losing that distance. So, uh, but my goodness, what a difference. Uh, I have not had to stop either one of them. I've not had to help either one of them. And, uh, yeah. And they're just doing a wonderful job. So let's, let's see if they can complete this job and, oh yeah. It'll make me real happy. Alright. This is where they cut over on their uh, last headland pass and everything looks real good real good so far spot on perfect really <laughs> that's scary good uh, there's only one corner one curve that I'm worried about and that's this one down here uh, but we'll just watch them and see how they do. But so far, I have not touched either one of them. Uh, from when I first told them to go and start the center rows, uh, that's the last time I've touched either one of them. Uh, that's remarkable. They are flat working on course play and making improvements every day. And believe me, this is a definite improvement. Uh, yes. Uh, I fully expected to start two of them in this field and end up just parking one of them and doing the rest of it by hand. Uh, that's what I had fully expected. But, you know me, I have to try. I have to use course play. I, I, I don't know, I just want it to work. It's a wonderful tool. And, uh, and so far here, uh, it is working just almost perfectly. So this is the curve that I'm worried about. So we're gonna watch them. Uh, the reason I'm worried about it is because 
it's it's a curve all the way around it's like a U shape and this is where they lost a lot of their distance uh, when they started but it looks like they made that curve with no problems no problem now it's to be expected that I'd have a little bit of cleanup to do down there and that's fine that's fine I don't I don't mind that at all uh, and in time uh, they'll get these guys to where they they won't leave such a big mess and actually it's not a mess it's just where they have to turn so we cannot ask for any better than what we're seeing right now uh, if they'll keep doing this my goodness they're going to change the way we farm on farm sim because this is just spot on I'm actually so happy I'm just slapping myself with both hands <laughs> Uh, oh boy but anyway uh, if you've liked this content please go down here and give me a like I'd sure appreciate it it helps the channel out a lot if you'd like to follow me uh, we're going to be back here on uh, uh, this map for quite a spell I do like I, I, I like Shellbrook Creek. Uh, it's 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 a great map. Man, we've got a beautiful home that we stay in. But anyway, if you'd like to, to follow me, uh, go down there and hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you found any of this useful, please use it in your farming if you want to. That's totally up to you. There's no right way or wrong way to do any of this. You know, there's like a person used to say, there's right way, wrong way, and then there's my way. <laughs> and I guess that's so. You know, everybody has their way, and there ain't a thing wrong with that. And that's what makes this map or, or this game so great. But anyway, uh, I think as... For the dirt road farmer, I think we're going to call this a video. I think I'm going to go have me a cup of coffee and think about this one. This is the first time since FS22 that I have run two uh, tools in the field at the same time. And they completed the job, and I never had to touch it. That's This is a first. So I think that deserves a good cup of coffee, is what I think. So anyway, as a dirt road farmer, I think we're going to call it a day. Thank everybody for watching, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.